That's farmer friend singer-songwriter Lyle Strickland. And that's farmer friend and jack-of-all-trades Chris Horn. And we're Those Those Taste Taste Bud Guys. How'd they get that job? Where I can I sign up? <laughs> so I know like, like two sign language things. No. One of them's offensive and the other one means beer. You no, know, there's been a couple of cases of people <laughs> just like of like political, like government mandated stuff and like someone just like off to the side just like doing interpretive dance instead of actual sign language. I mean it's funny but not funny. It's funny in the good kind of way. <laughs> <laughs> I forget Ben. Or the other. <laughs> okay. What are we working with? So, hey, welcome back. A little less enthusiastically as I normally welcome you back. But, yeah, you know, this sad. is that not somber. something that should be super enthusiastic about. Why? Because it tastes like nothing. I had this the other day, and the only reason we're bringing it on is because this is the most tasteless beer I've ever had, and I really <laughs> want Lyle to try it. Now, I'm not saying it's bad. It actually is pretty good. Uh-huh. But it... I'm blown away at how it's it doesn't good. taste like anything. I, I really, tasteless. actually, I think I want you to get a brand new glass. Yeah? Yeah, just because. I think he really wants me to wash the glasses. That's what I think. Like. Washing glasses would be good. Here. <laughs> Here, let's get a brand new glasses. Okay. Because I, anything that you've had in the glass is going to taint the taste. I tell you what I am surprised about is it actually has 130 calories. And for as nothing as this tastes like, I feel like it should have been less than that. But on the plus side, it is 4.4%. So, kind of cool. All right, so. so This is okay. Mountain Time by New Belgium, which, if you've had New Belgium, you know, a pretty dang good brewery. Yeah, generally, boy, that's a nice pale color. It is pale. It's a. Uh, yeah, I mean, it's a, it's a lager, but I actually like this because it doesn't have the skunkiness that. Uh, I feel like I could get prescription glasses in this color. You should do that. Um, yeah, all right. Let's see. I like New Belgium, but this... I do, too. I actually do like this. 4.4 ABV is... It's respectable for a lager. I mean, it's not underwhelming. Most of them is 4.2. Well, I guess 5 if you're taking a full-blown, like, Bud Wedge, but everything right on Bud Light. Although, this is basically a light. It's basically a light beer. It is light. And this smells like a light beer. Really light, like, corn kind of notes. Tell me about the taste, Lyle. Wow. Give me a, give me some tasting note. Wow. That isn't, I don't know, air, cardboard. All right. I'm picking up notes of Aquafina, Fiji, and Dasani. <laughs> uh, <laughs> ain't that ain't that the weirdest damn thing? It's very bizarre. Yeah, because you would think there's going to be some type of beer flavor to yeah. it, and this is like lightly carbonated water. This is the, the LaCroix of beer. It is, and I hate yeah. LaCroix, but I kind of <laughs> like this. I don't like it. No, I don't. I'm not. I'm not shocked that you don't. Not quite it's, frankly, but it's it's fine. I'm sure that like if you're, I'll, I'll put it this way: if you're hot. If you're exhausted, this is probably a great, great beer. It is very thin. It's very clean. Um, and I, I, I mean, you know what I'm glad about though? What? The can is so understated. There's no expectations to it. Had this can been full of color and blow, I would be like, what? It's. It is nice. Um, this would be a nice break beer. So, you know, I need to take a. I need to take a pause in my day drinking activities, right? Oh yeah. If you are like, I want to get drunk, I can't stand liquor, I don't like the taste of beer, and I can't afford weed, right here. This is what, <laughs> just knock this crap back, you're, eventually you'll get there. You'd I mean, it might to, take you six or knock, eight knock of them or 20, ten of them, 24. but <laughs> you'll get them. <laughs> yeah. Um, no, I could see this, I could see this being a palate Yeah, 100%. Uh, which That's is actually what we talked about before we came right on. Now was a palate cleanser, and I think you spot on. Yeah. This is a nice palate cleanser. Yeah, because the other option was some kind of lime Budweiser that Tyler's got in the refrigerator that we're getting ready to do, and I was like, that's going to be too strong compared to this. Yeah. 
Yeah, you made the right call. Okay. Um, this tastes so, like nothing. It really does taste like nothing, guys. It's uh, such a clean, clean flavor. And if you like that, you're going to love this. If you're looking for something clean and crisp, it's right there. But if you want something that has a more distinguished beer flavor to it, you're going to be very disappointed. This is the... Um, this is the atheist of beer. I think you mean antithesis, but okay. <laughs> no, no. I meant atheist. Oh, you meant atheist. <laughs> yeah. Okay. Yeah. I might have to have yeah. an explanation for that now. I was actually okay. I was actually trying to decide whether it's more agnostic or atheist, but I think this is a this is a full blown fervent void of nothing. Um, it's a lot of good words. As as opposed to just something that's like maybe there is good beer out there. We don't know. Um, no, this is like there is no good beer. This is just it's just nothing. It's just empty vastness. This is a black hole of beer. But very clear. Yeah. I don't hate it. It's very clean. I don't like it. Very clean. <laughs> very clean, well-bleached black hole. Yeah. Um. <laughs> you like that, subscribe. Oh, boy. Yeah, go ahead. It's going to be a great night. <laughs> um, all right, guys. Welcome um, back. New Belgium Fantastic Brewery um, is what it is. Good river beer. It That it would be. Right, our son. Until next time. Whether it be the beer you're trying to find to drink. The correlations between alcohol and religion that you're trying to find without invoking Catholicism. Close. Yeah, that's, that's fair. That's fair. <laughs> Clothes you're wearing. Or the people you're meeting, grab a buddy and try something new. <laughs>